Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be talking about what settings I use in Lightroom so that they're optimized for your website. This is something I had to worry about not only for my own website as well as the websites of the clients that I'm gonna be delivering to. Because a lot of the times when I'm delivering photos, my clients want the photos to be ready to send and share with their friends as well as something that can look professional and be posted on their website or social media platforms. Just a disclaimer, these are settings that I currently use right now and that work for me. However, I'm sure there are other best practices within exporting photos specifically optimized for different web platforms. But these are general settings that I use and a couple of things I keep in mind when I deliver for web. First, I'm gonna be talking about what aspects you might wanna consider when you're trying to export. Number one being file size. File size is a huge factor of how fast your website can load. And generally when you're uploading photos onto your website, you wanna make sure that the files are in a smaller size so that the web page can load quicker and that will use less storage on your actual website. The second thing you wanna look out for is the resolution of your file. And this is really important because even if a photo is quote unquote web optimized, depending on which part of your website, whether or not you're using it as a thumbnail or you're gonna have a medium or a, even a banner size photo on your website, you might wanna have different varying sizes for each type of content. For example, with a banner on your website, you generally want that to be a higher resolution because since you want your website to be responsive, sometimes you might be viewing this website on a larger screen on a desktop. And that means that you want a better resolution for that piece of content. However, when you're dropping in photos that don't have to be that big, something like thumbnails and you wanna prioritize the small file size, then resolution is a way to bring down the file size. Three would be a naming scheme. I personally use a naming scheme to organize my photos so that it's easier for me to reference to in the future and so that I can find them more easily. I keep organized by attaching the name of the shoot, the number of the photo that I'll be exporting, month of the year, as well as the last two digits of the year. That way when I go find it, I'll have some reference of when I actually did that shoot and it'll be a lot easier to find. The number four consideration when exporting your files for the web is what type of file type it should be. Generally speaking, there's four main file types that you might see across the web, which are PNG, TIFF files, GIF files, as well as JPEGs being the most common. PNGs are generally very high quality photo files. However, they tend to take up more space. So they're really good for illustration based photos. Um, something that doesn't have a lot of complex detail into it. However, something like illustrated artwork or, or lens-based photos might not be the best file size option because of the larger file size. A TIFF file format is generally optimized for print. They are more detailed and are higher quality photos. However, when you're viewing these photos on a mobile phone or another mobile device as your laptop, it's not very good for web because of the very large file sizes. A GIF, as I'm sure most of you know, is a animated file format that allows you to have a looped video sequence, which is really nice because it's shareable and you can make different options out of it. But the file format most people use nowadays is just plain JPEG. JPEG is very versatile in the sense that you can have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes and you can compress these files a lot easier than the other file formats. And it's a good option to use for web for that exact reason. Right now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I export my photos using Lightroom and the settings. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is going into export, go into the settings and I've created a couple profiles for these web photos. Again, the naming format that I use is to put the catalog name, the number of the photo, hyphen, three letters into the month, as well as the last two digits for the year. I use three different files, small, medium, and large. And going into the file settings, I use sRGB because that is the native color gamut for most screens that your photo is gonna be viewed on. In JPEG and under 400, 500, and 1000 kilobytes, respective to the small, medium, large files. For the image sizing, I keep the long edge for 1,500 and 2,500 
for small, medium, large respectively as well. So that my client has the option to use a smaller file for their website or a larger file if they want to have it displayed larger on their website. Now once I have all the photos gathered and exported, I actually go into a process of compressing these JPEGs even further. The tool I use is called JPEG Mini. However, there are a lot of free JPEG converters online. Now JPEG Mini is a paid software. However, I found that for my work. This saved me a lot of space for my final exported files, as well as providing really good file sizes to deliver to my clients. I'll leave a link in the description down below for some good all nine alternatives for compressing your JPEGs. And that wraps up this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. As well, if you guys have any questions or comments or any other video ideas that you guys wanna see from me, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next week, bye.